from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday's top story says health officials keep an eye on a spike in coronavirus cases over the weekend. Especially in Grand Bahama, the vaccine rollout begins there. It started over the weekend with the first shots going into the arms of healthcare workers on the island, and it will continue. Those workers who took the shot are relieved it's there, and they're urging the public to take it when the time comes. There are a lot of conspiracy theorists that are out there, and they will generally use one small bit of truth, but then cloak it in 98% of um, misinformation. So the key is really to access the information from credible sources, uh, speak to your physician. Tyrone Burroughs is Deputy Director of the Public Hospitals Authority. Overall, around 1,500 persons have now received their first shot. Officials do not anticipate any future problems with the rollout. As for the spike in cases, 70 confirmed between Friday and Saturday, most of them in Grand Bahama, which had 27 confirmed cases for Friday alone. Most of the new cases are travel-related, and officials are concerned about that. They're also concerned about an increase in hospitalizations, especially in Grand Bahama, where there are 13 persons now in. Another two deaths have been confirmed also. That total is now 188. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Some other corona-related news. The executive director of the Bahamas Feeding Network says the government should put another $26 million into the assistance program and run it through September. The current extension expires soon, but Philip Smith says people are still going to be needing help with food. Prime Minister Minnis tells the media he has no intention of relaxing curfew hours further in the capital right now. He says that is not the recommendation of health officials. And in about a month's time, there could be a spit test in place to determine if you have that coronavirus. It would eliminate the need for swabbing and lab testing. There could be an announcement coming today on when cruise ships are expected to return. The captains of those two boats involved in that Harbor Island crash that claimed the lives of three persons recently are now facing charges. Marvin Mintz and Ronaldo Grant charged with manslaughter by negligence. Education Minister Lloyd has confirmed that national exams are now scheduled to begin on April 13th. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area, mostly sunny. Highs from the mid-70s to low 80s, 77 in Freeport, 81 in the capital, 81 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the so seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around 3 this afternoon. Clear skies expected tonight, lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News. Looking for a home, lot, or condo? Then pick up a copy of the Tribune's Home Buyer's Guide. Every Monday, your number one source for homes, condos, lots, and home care needs. Open the door to your dream home. Plumbers, electricians, tilers, and contractors. It's the perfect place to advertise your business. Call us today at 502-2356 to book your space in the Bahamas' leading newspaper. The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Monday's World News headlines, vaccine distribution continues around the world, but the coronavirus is still making news, especially in Europe, where increasing cases is forcing governments to put new measures in place. Germany and France among the countries hardest hit by this new wave. And to make matters worse, some governments are facing increasing protests against those restrictions. Meantime, the U.S. has completed its test of the AstraZeneca vaccine and has declared it safe. The Americans facing their own challenges. Out-of-control spring breakers in Florida have forced a curfew to be put in place in South Beach. Health officials fear another surge could come out of this. Tribune's gas tracker prices to start the week. No changes. Shell 452, SO 452, Rubis $4.52 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Big night for DeAndre Ayton last night in the NBA. 26 points, 8 rebounds against the Lakers who are without LeBron James. He's got a leg injury. 
when Phoenix won again. Get the latest on Buddy Heal in the trivia on sports. Another good game for him, but his team continues to lose. Jazz Chisholm continues to make waves in the Marlins camp in Major League Baseball. Read the latest on him and get the rest of the NBA news on the latest on college basketball's March Madness, all in the Tribune Sports Monday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.